If you've purchased a Tesla Model Y or Model 3, congratulations. They're both very fun cars that share a lot in common and include a lot of great features. In these cars in particular, there is plenty that can be optimized with accessories though, and there are many great accessories made specifically for these cars. Today, I'm going to break down my full list of Tesla accessory recommendations for the Model Y and 3, and include which accessories have discounts for Black Friday and beyond. Everything will be linked in the description below in order for easy access, so let's get into it. First up is the accessory I always recommend first, a screen protector. The Model Y and 3 are mostly controlled with the center 15 inch touchscreen, so a screen protector can help in a few ways. First, it protects your main screen from scratches or damage. This is great and can save you from needing to replace your entire screen if an accident were to happen here. Then on top of this, the right screen protector can help reduce glare from the sun. At the right time of day, your shiny center screen can reflect the sun really well and a screen protector reduces this, making the screen much easier to see. I have a few different options linked below as well as a bundle that includes the screen protector and a few other things that I'll talk about in this video later. Next up is another essential recommendation, all weather floor mats. The included Tesla floor mats are all right, but definitely don't hold up once you face any sort of weather. The best floor mats I've found are from 3D Max Spider, and I have these in my Model Y and Model 3. They sell them for each vehicle, and I love these mats because they're a great combo of all weather function, a stylish look, and a soft feel on your feet. Many all weather floor mats will be hard hard and rubbery feeling and cause collected water to slosh around, but these capture everything easily and feel soft under your feet. They fit perfectly and there are a few different options available. Not only are there standard floor mats for front and rear seats, but they make mats for every area in the Model Y and 3. For the Model Y, they sell a front trunk mat, mats for each under storage compartment, a mat for the trunk area, and mats for the back of the seats in the Model Y. One thing I used to find here all the time was that I would fold down my Model Y seats to load in large cargo, the trunk would be protected with mats, but the back of the seats would potentially get damaged from my cargo. These mats cover every surface to ensure you are well protected, even when the seats are folded down. If you have the money and frequently use the storage space in your car, I recommend the complete set to cover every surface in the Model Y. For the Model 3, they sell the normal seat mats, as well as mats for the trunk and front trunk. They're each linked in the description below, and you can choose which bundle of mats you'd like. These are my favorite Tesla floor mats by far, and I highly recommend them. Next up is something that may be essential for you or not, a spare tire for your Tesla. Teslas do not include spare tires or a standard place to put them. This is because spares are required less these days, roadside assistance is available, and they take up space and weight in your car, which reduces your range. To some, this is no big deal, and they prefer to rely on roadside assistance, but I've heard mixed reports on how long that can take to arrive these days, depending on your area. Some people absolutely want a spare tire, and that's where the modern spare comes in. This is a spare tire designed for the Model Y or Model 3 respectively, and each version is linked below. It's a very compact spare tire, complete with a kit for installing that you can keep in your Tesla for an emergency. For myself, I'd probably drive around town without it, but throw it in when I'm going on a longer journey. It's definitely great to have and can be a nice compact option since your Tesla doesn't include a spare tire from the factory. They're linked below. For our next accessory, it's all about keeping your vehicle fresh. Teslas don't have obvious air vents, so average clip-on air fresheners won't do the trick. Those also aren't as fresh and natural as Scent Wedge. Scent Wedge is an air freshener specifically designed for the Model Y and 3. Not only do they have great scents and fit right into the vent locations in the dashboard of the Model Y and 3, but for each purchase, they plant a tree. Their scents are cruelty-free, made in the US, and they have a deal for Black Friday. Use the coupon code THANKFUL22 for 15% off your entire order at Scent Wedge. I recommend checking out their Discovery set. It includes four of their most popular scents, Valencia, Grounded, Big Sur, and Coastal Forest. They're all great, and you can try each out to decide which is your favorite for the future. Scent Wedge, along with the coupon code, is linked in the description below. It's the best air freshener option in your Tesla and really matches the feel of the vehicle. The next accessory is one that I have on our Model Y and Model 3, the Quick Bandit. With your Tesla by default, you'll get a license plate bracket that attaches to the front bumper with double back tape. This usually does the trick, but what most people come to realize is that Teslas are not designed for a front license plate. They look best without them, but many states still legally 
legally require them. With the front plate bracket that Tesla includes, you install it and it's pretty much there for life. I personally prefer to take this off for photos and videos on this channel and more, so the Quick Bandit is a great option. It's a front license plate bracket that locks into the front bumper vent, but is easily removable when you need. It's also much easier to install than Tesla's option and won't hurt your paint at all. It's linked in the description below for the Model Y and Model 3 separately. What you may be noticing is that there are a number of accessories in this video that you want. That's where a bundle of various accessories could come into play and be a great option. Over at Tesla Rati, they sell new owner's bundles, and I'll link them below for the Model Y and 3. Currently, the Model Y bundle includes floor mats, a screen protector, the license plate mount, a cordless vacuum, and some storage accessories that we'll talk about next. It can be a really great option to save a bit and get all the accessories you want in your Model Y or Model 3. Each bundle is linked below. These bundles are usually on sale year-round, but for Black Friday, they're discounted, and Tesla Rati has various other sales and deals. I'll link to those below as well and do my best to keep the description updated as deals change. Year-round, these are still a great option though. Next up is a quick one if you're very into the Model Y, this sweatshirt. It has the outline of a Model Y and comes in a few different colors. Red is my personal favorite. This is linked below and comes from my merch store, so buying it directly supports this channel if you're interested. Now we're going to talk about storage and optimization. The Model Y and 3 each include a lot of storage space. For the Model Y in particular, there are a lot of storage compartments, but often these end up being big open spaces that need optimization. That's where all of these accessories come in. First off, if you wanted a cargo cover in your Model Y but Tesla hadn't made that change yet, you're in luck. There are great third-party cargo cover options out there. They install into the trunk, slide away when not needed, and slide out when needed to cover your cargo. This will hide anything sitting in your trunk under the big rear glass in the Model Y. Today, Tesla includes their own version of this by default, but this change just happened in production, so if you want this, it's linked below. As for the storage underneath that, there are a few useful accessories for the side cubbies. These side cubby tubs protect the carpet liner in the side cubbies of your Model Y and ensure that any liquids you may keep there never spill into the car. They also have lids that make them sit perfectly flush with the rear under storage cover. I love these things and they very much feel like a part of the car once installed. The only issue I've had that I'll mention is that they fit perfectly into my 2020 Model Y, but for some reason the right one won't fit correctly into my 2022 Model Y. It's possible Tesla slightly changed the size here, or that I did something wrong. Either way, they're linked below, and I like having them to keep car cleaners in and covered up. The next storage compartment that can be very much optimized in both the Model Y and 3 is the front trunk. As it comes, this is essentially a large open tub. For some cargo, that's very useful, but since the front trunk is the compartment I'm actually accessing the least, I prefer to turn this into a space where I keep things that I don't regularly need access to. That's where the front trunk organizer comes in. This organizer fits right into the front trunk, stays put, and has six different divided locations for storage. I have this in my Model Y and use it all the time to keep things like a first aid kit, Kit, cleaners, mobile charging kit, and more. It has just become a normal part of my front trunk. I have this in the Model Y, but they also make this for the Model 3. It's linked below for each car, and I'll include a few links because it appears to be sold out currently at a few different retailers. Next up is a small storage organizer for the Model 3 only. This is a grocery bag hook. It's incredibly simple, but if you ever are worried about grocery bags rolling around in your large trunk, this is perfect for you. This metal hook screws into a screw that is already hanging down in the upper part of the Model 3's trunk. It stays in there and you can hang grocery bags or anything else you'd like from it to keep it there when driving. It's only for the Model 3 since the Model Y is a hatchback and it's linked below. One of the things you'll notice about the Model Y compared to the Model 3 is the fact that you sit higher, but the seats are exactly the same. That's because the Model Y has the same seats as the Model 3 sitting on risers. There's this space underneath each seat that's empty and passes through to the rear seats. Again, this is a place you can optimize. These are under seat storage trays that slide right under each of the front seats. They immediately add two more sizable compartments to keep things in. I personally keep things like tissue here that I want access to easily but don't regularly need in view. I highly recommend these because it's just wasted space in your car without them. One thing to note is you may need to adjust your seating height a tad to ensure they slide out without any issue, and they're linked below. That's exclusive to the Model Y, but in both cars there's a pretty small glove box. Surprisingly, an organizer built just for this ends up making this much more usable. It's incredibly simple and just a few plastic pieces that fit together, but they 
slide right into the glove box, giving you separated compartments for each thing you may be keeping in your glove box. I love this thing, and it's definitely one of the cheapest but effective accessories for your car. Next up for both cars is a center console organizer. Again, the center console in the Model 3 and Y provides a lot of useful storage space, but it can end up just being a bit of a hole where you throw stuff and lose it. That's where these center console storage organizers come into play. They fit right into both areas of the center console, and the front one even adds a sliding drawer, allowing you to keep smaller items and then slide them away to access the lower part when needed. These in particular feel like accessories that would have or should have come with the car from the factory. They are linked below for each car, and you can buy them a la carte, in a set, or in that bundle that I mentioned earlier. Right in that same area is another space that you can optimize if you have something small that you'd like to keep hidden in the Model Y or 3. This armrest hidden storage compartment fits into the underside of the armrest and has a little door on it to access the items you have hidden. Next, in the rear of the Model Y, there's a space between the risers from the front seats under the center console that ends up not being utilized. In comes a perfect storage organizer bin that even has a tiny removable trash bin in the center. If you frequently have rear passengers, it can be a great place to keep snacks, water bottles, or anything else. If you never have rear passengers as well, it can work well to keep things close by, but out of sight as a driver. Now the last place I know of that can be optimized in these cars is the door pockets. The door pockets have some decent space, but can also end up becoming one big pocket or end up damaged and hard to clean. These door pocket storage organizers fit right into the Model Y or three doors, protect the pockets from damage, and add some good compartment separation. It can work great for separating a water bottle from other things you keep on hand. Just a note that they are different for the Model 3 versus the Model Y, so be sure to purchase the right one, and each is linked below. Aside from storage, there are still a few accessories you may want in your car. Depending on your lifestyle, you could be spending a lot of time in your car getting work done while you wait to charge. For a lot of people, they need space up front to eat food, work on a laptop, or anything else. That's where a steering wheel tray or other front seat tray could come into play. I have tried three different options here. Here. The best looking option and easiest to store is the desk wedge. This comes from the same company that makes Scent Wedge. It can easily hold your laptop on the steering wheel to get work done when parked. From Elon Accessories and others, there is a larger steering wheel tray. This can work well for a laptop eating or anything else. Then a third option is a much larger tray that goes across the center console to the door armrest. It gives you a very large workspace, a place to eat comfortably without putting any tension on the steering wheel, and more. Each of these are linked below. If you have an older Model Y or current Model 3, there's no HEPA filter. Tesla has showed off this filter a lot, especially since adding it to the Model Y, but with standard older filters, you'll of course need to replace them. That's where these HEPA filters come into play. They aren't the same as full HEPA filtration systems being built into the car, but do a better job filtering your air than a standard filter. One accessory I've found particularly useful in either car is this water bottle holder. It's not the prettiest accessory out there, but it fits right into the cup holder of either car and allows me to hold a large 32 ounce water bottle, which I carry around all the time. It also has rubber teeth of sorts built in that will ensure that it holds any size cup. I keep it in my car all the time, but it's easy to remove if I want to. If you want to take care of your Tesla the best way and ensure you aren't damaging the paint at all, the best method here will be to wash the car yourself. A two bucket wash setup is essential and I personally like this one from Chemical Guys. It includes everything you may need and I also added a foam cannon to attach to my pressure washer to give the car a true foam bath. I also use a waterless wash, detailer, window cleaner, and interior cleaner from them accompanied with very soft microfiber towels. All of these cleaners work great, have specific purposes, and can be be easily stored in the car when needed. Chemical Guys products have been great, but I've also used this package of equivalent cleaners from Test Bros. This package is a great deal and includes an all-purpose car cleaner, car shampoo, waterless car wash, and glass cleaner. All of that, including the pressure washer and foam cannon that I use, is linked in the description below. Now, a big feature of the Model Y and Model 3 is the all-glass roof. The Model Y is one big piece of glass, while the Model 3 has a beam down the middle of that glass. These roofs come tinted and block some sun, but in certain climates, it's still too warm for people. That's where a glass roof sunshade comes into play. I personally haven't tried these yet, but many people vouch for them and use them regularly in their Tesla, and they're each linked below. If you're particular about the dashboard design in the Model Y and 3, one thing you may have investigated is getting the wooden accent on the dashboard wrapped. However, instead of
instead of wrapping, you can get a dashboard cap cover. This is a plastic cover that attaches with 3M tape incredibly easily. It fits perfectly, matches the rest of the car, looks great, and can be replaced easily if it were to ever be damaged. Speaking of wraps, another place that people will wrap is the center console of an older Tesla. Older Model Ys and 3s included a glossy black center console, but instead of wrapping it, I've had great experience with these covers. They attach very easily with 3M tape as well, and are far better at protecting the center console than a wrap. I've used these in multiple cars, and the simplicity of install very much makes it worthwhile. Last up are two small accessories, performance pedal covers and a J1772 lock. Performance pedal covers are a small accessory that can be installed in place of the standard black pedals of a Tesla. They protect the pedals and can be replaced easily, and also look better than the standard pedals non-performance Teslas come with. Then a J1772 lock ensures that someone can't unplug your Tesla when you're charging at a third-party J1772 charger. This locks the plug to the adapter, which is locked to your car. As you can see, there are tons of great accessory options for both the Model Y and 3. Some of these accessories are absolutely essential from day one of ownership, and others will optimize your experience to get the most out of your vehicle without paying too much. As I mentioned throughout, each accessory is linked below in order for easy access, and I hope this video was helpful for you. In the meantime, if you want to see my full review of the latest Model Y after one month, you can check out that video linked up here or in the description below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.